So morning everybody and the first one of five test rides today I've got loads so this is the Lexmoto Diablo 125 and this one is going out for Chloe and she purchased this bike so PDI has been done all the bolt checks have been done everything is all good full tank of fuel 5 litres in there and we're out on a test ride to check all the operations and make sure that the bike and the engine are all good. So, as we do on all test rides, 40 to 45 mile an hour. Now we did have someone come in and said, oh yes, uh, but you don't give the spec of the bike and you don't do this on the bike and you don't do that on the bike, you're just riding it. Yes, it is a ride test for the customer's viewing. That is the reason we put it on YouTube, so the customer can see their bike being ridden at the correct speed. We're 1.2k in, so very easy to reset this. All you've got to do is press and hold, and you can reset it to miles on the right-hand button. We'll do that when we get back. So we're going to put about 15k on this, which is going to be around about 10 miles, over the course of three test rides. So slightly different route today. We're going to do something different. I'm sick to death of going up past the garden centre and going down the uh, dual carriageway that way. So we're going to do a slightly different route today. Get me eye on the traffic. We're away. Get away before the lorry catches me up. So Diablo front end is very, very similar, if not almost identical to the WK SX so very very similar to the WK SX rear end very similar again so all in all this is basically a WK SX I uh, but there are a lot of bikes that are coming out that all look much the same uh, it's basically same Chinese manufacturer just different branding on them For aesthetics, and obviously some say Lexmoto, some say WK, some will say other bike brands, but near enough, same engine, and same indicators and everything. The only difference being, obviously, the SXI has the combined indicators and hazard button. This one doesn't have a hazard button. So your basic controls, left hand side, horn, indicators, lights, over on the right hand controls, kill button, and your start button. So, very simplistic controls, down the front, nice big speedo, analog, and that digital dash that just gives you time, mileage, and your fuel tank, that's all you need on one of these but a great little A to B scooter for running around. Now obviously Titans are a little bit less money at $1999.99 so a penny under two grand. This one retails at two I think it's two one seven nine this one if I am right. Somewhere around there anyway. So it's a little bit more expensive than the Titan. Now the WK version of this is obviously set at the same price as the Titan so uh, a little bit better build quality plastics are a little bit better the plastics on this are very very good actually they're quite chunky plastics on the Diablo not the flimsy stuff that you will see on your Chinese equivalents even though this is a Chinese bike and it's got that lockable ignition switch as well so you can actually shut the ignition switch off little cover over it stop the little oikes getting the screwdriver to your ignition barrel down the front between my legs is the battery and the fuel tank is underneath the seat. Let's go Mr Car Driver. Who has his phone in his ear, you can see it. I think you just love car drivers. So slightly different route, we're going to come here and we're going to go on the dual carriageway up to the end of the garden centre and then back down and around the town. And give it a nice little run out. The engine braking on this rolls off at about 10 mile an hour and goes into freewheel. 
let's just uh, push the dash there I normally have to do this with the ignition off so I ain't going to fiddle around now but we are selling a lot of these bikes so the Diablos and the WKSXI are very good selling bikes Lexmoto does have a new scooter out and it's not a bad looker yet to get one but yet again it looks like a Diablo it's exactly the same as the Diablo and the WKSX again so they've basically released another version of this but the engine is a lot better a little bit more horsepower now miles per hour on this one you're going to get roughly between 100 to 120 miles to the gallon if you are economical with the right hand if you're going to run it hard as hell everywhere you're going to probably end up between about 80 to 800 on this checking the shoulders and we're going to go on to the dual carriage right let's just check the camera set up yeah so i've got the drift on today as well as the gopro i tend to run the gopro footage for the youtube but uh, worst case scenario should something pack up then i've got the drift as the backup we're off very very comfortable bike to ride though seat is lovely and wide and you've got that little uh, slope as it goes up onto the passenger seat so it does comfort you around the buttocks as they say around the bust area so it is a comfortable seat plenty of leg room on this obviously I'm 5'10 32 inch leg though long legs on me but it is ample for doing what it needs to do so sitting 40 mile an hour now the miles per hour are dead centre on the screen with the K's around the outside but 12 o'clock is 40 mile an hour 1 o'clock is 50, 2 o'clock is 60 basically so just remember 12, 11, 12, 1 and 2 look down 12 o'clock I'm doing 40 11 o'clock you're doing 30 that's all you need to remember what I tend to tell people to do around the top of the screen put a little dot of tipex where 30 40 and 50 are and it makes life very very easy just to look down and see a white dot and you can wipe tipex off as well scratch it off with your fingernail so good idea just a little bit of tipex put it on the screen and it does help you out save you keep looking down at that speedo big lorry give my flash in And obviously being a lightweight bike you do get blown around a lot on one of these so caution when you are in open areas with just open road because you will get blustered around by the wind weight on these roughly around about I think around about 110 kilos 120 kilos so they're not very heavy compared to some bikes the engine on these is good it does the job as I say if you want to check the spec out then go looking on this one go and look on the first ride test there's loads of Diablos out there ride test videos loads of specs on the bike go and have a look on one of the other videos or lexmoto.co.uk and you can pull all the technical spec up on the bike there rather than me waffling on about it on every test ride so strong headwind coming in and it is blowing me about a bit giving it a little bit more throttle and obviously this hasn't got as much horsepower as the WKSX or the MXI but for what it does it does the job for a cheap budget bike for just over the two grand mark and you're not going to get much these days for about two grand even your uh, Japanese imp or Japanese equivalents so like your Hondas, your Kawasaki's, your Yamahas you're going to be looking at four or five grand for a decent one and obviously PCX everybody knows how good the PCX is and they are a lot more money even the Forzas a lot more money and uh, you've also got the, obviously the Yamaha the uh, Vivacities and all that sort of thing so a lot more money for your branded bikes and you're just paying for the name all the engines come out of the same place people so just remember that 
but this is pumbling along very very well doing what it needs to do there will be a further test ride coming up on this final test ride where we'll do the hill climb on this and just see what it's like now the last time we did a hill climb on this this lost about four mile an hour climbing a hill so they do struggle with hills I'm not gonna beat around the bush and say oh it's great you know it holds its own they do struggle going around the hills now I need to get over into this lane it's come off for the services and you just jumped the red light naughty 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 oh it's a tax look he's done it again taxi driver naughty naughty man slap on the wrist for you so head back to the garage in a second do a little bit around town and then we'll go and get the next test ride out but for all intensive purposes if you're looking at a bike Titan is your base model, Diablo is the next one up and then obviously you've got your things like your Auras, your Apollos all very good bikes and then obviously your rivals you've got your WK, SXI and the MXI both very very good bikes to ride now obviously I like the I like the WK brand very very much really well built and so far I haven't had a single issue with a WK bike the only things you tend to find with these is the maintenance and people say yes but Chinese bikes rust like hell any bike will rust like hell if it's not cleaned maintained and looked after and given a coat of ACF 50 anti-rust or rust preventer and it is the same with any bike, whether it's a, a Japanese bike, or a British bike, or even a Chinese bike. So, road salt is a killer. If you do get the bike dirty, and you're using it backwards and forwards to work, every couple of days, give the damn thing a clean. Water sitting on a bike is the worst thing that you can have, so get yourself an airline, or garden vac, or, or a, a motorcycle blower. You can pick one up for about 40 quid, just to blow the water off. And that is the best thing to do, get the water off, give it a wipe down and then uh, once a week or so, just go over it with some ACF 50 coat all the bike up you can put it on your panels as well, it will stop all the road dirt and grime sticking to your panels and discolouring the bike so it's another good thing to do braking on these, let's try the brakes, combined and front brake and it feels that suspension and the suspension on this going by looking at the car in front you can see the beam so the suspension on this is very very good and yet again more roadworks and digging that's a big pothole there we go digging the road up down past my favourite nightclub Pink Punters and we're back to the garage So Lexmoto Diablo first ride all good for Chloe. Happy days. Back to the garage, give it a clean and blow all the water off. Some ACF on it. Final bolt check and then we've got the final ride test and yet another clean and another set of ACF 50 over it. Get that all done. And we are going to be out on a couple of bikes today. Come on, quite a few bikes today. So when we get back to the garage, I'll give you a quick look around. So if you're interested in any new motorcycle, or even the used ones, Eclipse Motorcycles MK.co.uk, tell them you've seen Rev Bomb's video. Got over 35 different bikes in stock at the moment, new, and I think about... 10 used at the moment so bikes are selling very very quick we've got another shipment of LXRs coming in today and it is the carbon edition the black one with the carbon look very very nice so they'll be in today so out on the yard we've got LXR SE riding that in a while and we've got the RKs up for sale 11.50 down the back I've got the SX125 to ride the MXI and tucked over there is RB's bike as well and if you want 
a pan-European. We've got one of those. All the Harleys are in there, along with my Triumph. And my VFR 1200. So, all the bikes are there. Enjoy. So, but from RB, out on another test ride. And this is your Diablo in red and white. Very nice looking bike. Be well, ride safe, and it's a big goodbye from me.